ब्रह्मनाथ ओ शांति 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 ही स्वस्थ हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन द प्रीवियस क्लास वी डिस्कस्ड द जैनिक बैलेंस मैकेनिज्म कैनेंड्रोमफ एंड ऑल्सो वी डिस्कस्ड द सिंगल जीन इफेक्ट इन डिटेल वी हैव डिस्कस्ड ऑन वी डिस्कस्ड अंडर द सिंगल जीन इफेक्ट द ट्राजिन एंड ऑल्सो वी डिस्कस द स्राइजिन इन डिटेल टूडे वील डिस्कस अवर न्यू टॉपिक दैट इज योर रोल ऑफ सेक्स डिफ्रेंशिएशन इन सेक्स डिटर्मिनेशन ओके फर्स्ट पॉइंट द क्रोमोजोमल मेकेनिज्म और वी कैन से the genetic balance mechanism is successfully applied under the lower grade of the animals such as in the case of the invertebrate but in the case of higher grade animals such as the in, in the case of the vertebrates or we can say in certain conditions the some invertebrate also they produce or we can say that develop various Uh, characters of the opposite sex besides their own characters it means it means the sex change the sex changes or the we can say the sex changes under some specific conditions okay so we'll write down the points first point the chromosomal mechanism or we can say the genetic balance mechanism is applicable successfully under the lower grade animals the chromosome theory and the <coughs> genetic balance theory is successfully applicable under lower grade animals such as in vertebrates okay which we discussed earlier the chromosome theory <coughs> or the genetic balance mechanism is successfully applied under the lower grade animals <coughs> such as in vertebrates but in case of but in case of higher grade animals such as or uh, vertebrates in case of vertebrates or in some condition of in vertebrate of in vertebrates they develop characters of the opposite sex beside their own characters okay i'll give you common example in the case of the female mammary glands are highly developed but in the case of male 
memory glands are rudimentary or we can say less developed so memory gland we can say it is uh, we can say a form of uh, um, secondary sexual character of uh, basically in the case of female but we can also say memory gland is also present in the case of male so we can say in the case of the higher grade animals such as in the case of the vertebrates some characters some characters of the opposite sex are also formed or developed besides our own character means the memory gland is also present in the, is, is present basically or fully developed in the case of female but it is also present in case of the male which is rudimentary we can say not much developed okay so that's the exactly point the chromosome theory or we can say the genetic balance mechanism is successfully applied under the lower grade animals such as invertebrates okay but in the case of the higher grade animals or the vertebrates or in some conditions of the, of invertebrate they develop characters of the opposite sex besides their own characters okay so the sex changes under specific conditions so we can say this also causes the sex changes we can say the sex changes next point the sex changes under specific conditions okay please note down the points sex changes under the specific conditions note down please note the point we are now here discussing in the case of the embryo okay in the case of the means the chromosome theory and the genetic balance theory in the of the sex determination the embryo develops okay please note down here the embryo okay the embryo which develops the character of its own characters of the opposite sex besides its own characters okay please note down the embryo develops okay please so under the role of sex differentiation and sex determination first we'll discuss the sex reversal sex reversal okay sex reversal is basically seen in the case of the fishes amphibians birds and in the case of the mammals it is seen in case of fishes amphibians birds and mammals okay so what is sex reversal <coughs> artificial removal of the gonads before the puberty of the either sex of the either sex okay of the either sex artificial removal of the gonads of the either sex before the puberty in mammals or even we can say in humans okay in humans results results development of secondary sexual characters of the 
opposite sex okay means means what is it is the what is the sex reversal means the removal of the gonads may maybe it may maybe it be the testis or the um, ovary okay if the testis is being removed artificially <coughs> from the male then it will eventually develop the secondary sexual character of the female same if the ovary is being artificially removed in the case of the female then the female will develop secondary sexual character of male so this is your sex reversal which is generally seen in the case of the fishes amphibia birds and the mammals okay artificial removal of the gonads of the either sex before the puberty in mammals or even in humans results development of the secondary sexual characters of the opposite sex okay please note down this is this is this is your sex reversal we'll discuss some interesting example such as first we'll discuss the <coughs> sex reversal in the chick okay please note down <coughs> as we have discussed what is sex reversal means the artificial removal of the gonads okay before puberty of the either sex will develop the formation or the development of the secondary sexual character of the opposite sex whether the removal of the gonad may be castration or ovarectomy castration means you know the removal of the testis ovarectomy means removal of the ovary removal of the testis in the case of the male will lead to the formation of the or development of the, of the secondary sexual character of the female whereas the in the case of ovarectomy the artificial removal of the ovary will develop the secondary sexual character of the male now we'll uh, discuss one interesting example in the case of chick what happens in the sex reversal in the case of chick basically hen produces we can say a hen which laid fertile eggs but due to some accidentally the ovary is being damaged by which now the hen which was laying eggs or we can say laying fertile eggs is now unable to secrete the female hormones or the ovarian hormones as the ovary is damaged but the rudiment means some portion of the testis which are generally present in all the female uh, birds becomes more functional by which they now become eligible or they now produce the secondary sexual character of the opposite sex means the secondary sexual character of the male by which the hen completely is converted into the cock by having the comb or we can say the plume male plumage means a type of the wings which we can distinguish the cock and the hen which will eventually convert it into a from a female hen to a male cock now uh, we'll understand line by line a hen which laid fertile eggs accidentally lost its ovary by which stopped laying eggs and developed male characters such as as i said comb and male plumage means a type of wings which distinguish the cock and the hen and becomes a cock okay second part the above case of sex reversal is explained by assuming that destruction or removal of the ovary as i said in the case of sex reversal mean the removal of the gonad will develop into second sexual character of the opposite sex removal of the ovary leads to stoppage of production of the ovarian hormones obviously if the ovary is being developed ovarian hormones will not develop or will not produce by which but the rudimentary of the testis which is present in on the female birds will now become more functional in all female birds becomes functional following the loss of the ovary the ovary is damaged uh, follows means will result the loss of the ovary and formation of the secondary sexual character of the male and produce male secondary sexual character okay 
So this is a most uh, interesting example of the sex reversal in the case of the chick. Please note down. Now after that we will discuss the free martin. Please note down. Now we'll discuss our next intense, interesting topic that is your free martin. Okay. We'll discuss the free martin in the case of the cattles. In the case of the cattles, when the um, twins are born of the opposite sex, then the male is quite normal. It is healthy and is normal. But the female is somehow sterile having the various male characters okay why this happens during the development of the fetal development the female hormones are produced little bit later after the male hormones are being produced and the male hormones which are produced eventually have a great influence or we can say influence the female fetus to make it sterile okay so in the case of cattles when the opposite sex twins are being born in that case male is normal female is sterile see in the cattle when the twins of the opposite sex are born the male is normal okay healthy normal but the female is sterile sterile means it is not capable to reproduce okay and also with having very various many uh, we can say male characteristics so such sterile female is known as the free martin okay such sterile females are called free martin so during the development as we know the fetus development have the common blood circulation during the development the fetal membranes of the twins have a common blood circulation at that time the female hormones will produce little bit later after the male hormones are produced so the female hormones are produced little little later than the male hormones okay the male hormones when it is produced it influences the female fetus to become sterile okay so this is the common example which is seen in the case of the uh, cattle <coughs> in which the female sterile or we can say the sterile female is basically known as your free martin okay means opposite sex twins are being born in which in the case of the cattle in which one the male one is normal but the female one is sterile means it is not capable of reproducing and also having various many or we can say many male characteristics and that female uh, that the sterile female is no nothing but the free martin okay please note down Now we'll discuss the chemotactic sex determination or we can say first we'll discuss the environmental factors. Okay. So there are various factors also means we can say <coughs> there are various environmental factors which also plays an important role in the sex determination. Okay. One of, it, uh, one of the environmental factors is your chemotactic. Next we'll discuss the temperature. So first in the case of chemotactic sex determination. The common example in the case of chemotactic sex determination is in the case of a worm or we can say bonelia. What is bonelia? Bonelia is a special kind of worm which belongs to the phylum annelida. In the case of bonelia, the larva, okay, the larva of the bonelia, which are generally isolated from the mature female uh, bonelia, develops into female but the female but the larva which are present or we can say which are present on the proboscis of the female or we can say which adhere to the proboscis of the female eventually develops into male how i will say the female bonelia are around 10 cm long okay whereas the uh, male bonelia are around just three millimeter long one to three millimeter long okay the female bonelia have a proboscis 
proboscis means a outlet such as suckling outlet or the um, of, such as in the case of proboscis are present in the case of the mosquito okay which they helps in sucking the blood such as like a proboscis is present in the case of female of about 1 meter long and the length of the female bonelia is around 10 cm long okay when if the larva if the larva develops far from the mature female in an isolation then it will develop into female okay and it is quite larger as compared to the male but some larva as the proboscis of the female secretes some chemotactic substance which helps or attracts the larva which helps in adhering means attaching to the uh, proboscis of the female which eventually helps in developing that larva into male bonelia okay next the male bonelia or the male the the larva which are converted into male will eventually pass on to the uterus of the female by the uh, help of the passing into the through the reproductive tract of the female where they will reach into the uterus and they become parasitic in nature parasitic means we know means one something depends on the other to survive so they go to the uterus and by which they fertilize the egg present in the uterus okay so we'll discuss the example in the case of worm or bonelia which is a special kind of worm which belongs to annelida the larva are potentially hermaphrodite means they are neither female we can say completely or neither male completely if newly if a newly hatched worm is reared from a single egg in isolation as i said if the uh, means the egg is developed in the isolation or larva is developed in isolation then it will develop as a female okay if it is developed isolation means far from the mature female then it will develop into female but if it will attach to the proboscis then it will um, uh, develop into male as the uh, chemotactic due to the chemotactic means some chemical substance are being produced in the proboscis region which attracts the larva and it will eventually change the larva into male see if a newly hatched larva are reared in water containing mature females such larva adhere means attached to the female proboscis okay which is around one meter long sorry one centimeter long so these are transformed means these larva which are attached to the uh, proboscis are transformed into males which eventually migrate into the reproductive tract of the female i said which will eventually tra tra travel into the female reproductive tract and where they become parasitic eventually they go to the uterus where they fertilize the egg okay and they become parasitic as they uh, inside the uh, they are inside the female <coughs> they depends on the female so we can say parasite means what an organism which depends on other so next the proboscis of the mature female why this happens why this happens because the proboscis of the mature female secretes a chemotactic or, or, or a particular chemical substance which attracts or adhere the helps in adhering or attaching the larva into the proboscis region which eventually helps in converting them into male which induces the larva to differentiate as male okay so the larva which are attached to the proboscis are eventually converted into male and which are uh, developed or we can say which hatched which had the worm which are hatched in reared from a single egg and isolation means which are developed in isolation far from the mature female then it, they, then these are developed into female but the larva which are attached to the proboscis they develop into male okay so this is seen in the case of bonelia okay bonelia which is a special kind of work which dep which uh, uh, it's uh, which is belongs to the annelida okay so uh, this is a type of environmental factors obviously this is environmental factors depends on the environmental or the chemotactic substance means this particular chemical substance that is secreted it depends the sex of the bonelia means if the chemical is secreted on the proboscis if it attach, uh, if the larva is attached to the proboscis then it will develop into female uh, it will develop into the male which will eventually by passing through the reproductive tract it will eventually lead to the reach to the uterus 
But if the larva will develop from the far from the mature frame female in an isolation, it will eventually lead to the female larva. Okay, the larva which is produced, which is present on the proboscis, is male. Okay, it will develop into male. But which is, which is the larva which is far from the um, the female mature um, bonelia, or we can say which develop in isolation, it will develop into female. Okay, please note down. Please note down some more points of the under the <coughs> chemotactic sex determination in case of the bonelia. As I have said earlier, the female bonelia are basically marine rock dwelling. Okay, uh, with a body about the female bonelia have a body about 10 cm long. As I have said earlier, 10 cm long. She has a proboscis, as I have said, proboscis like this. Okay. She has a proboscis which can extend about, sorry, I have said one centimeter, which can extend about one meter long, which can extend of about one meter long. Whereas the male bonelia is, however, only one to three millimeter long. How much? One to three millimeter long. Next, which resides, as I have said earlier, inside the uterus of the female okay thus if so in conclusion what we found if the larva remains or we can say if the larva lands on the sea floor or we can say if it develops isolately then it will develop into female if the larva settled down on the robust case of the female then it will lead to male Thus, if a larva lands on sea floor, it becomes female, and if it settles on the proboscis, it becomes male. Okay, so these are some important points. Please note down uh, the important points of the chemotactic sex determination. Now we will discuss our next environmental factor which is the temperature dependent environmental factor of the sex determination. First, we'll disc we, uh, we, uh, we discussed about the chemotactic, means the chemical which is, pro which is uh, secreted, it eventually uh, plays important role in the determination of the sex. Now, we'll discuss the um, environmental factor, another one that is your temperature, which also plays an important role in playing in some uh, animals which uh, determines the sex and the temperature plays an important role. The common example is your in the case of your reptiles and even or uh, also in cases of the turtles. Okay, so what is that? Uh, how the temperature plays the role? As it depends on the environmental temperature, if the temperature is low or higher, the sex depends as a, as upon the temperature okay so first we'll discuss in the case of turtle then i will say in the case of the lizards or the crocodiles in the case of the turtles if the development is under the lower temperature means the lower temperature of the favorable temperature will lead to the male turtle or we can say the male turtle will hatch the lower temperature of around 22.5 degree centigrade up to 27 degree centigrade but if the temperature slightly increased by 1 to uh, 3 degree centigrade or we can say it if it will reach around 30 degree centigrade then the turtle which will now hatch will be the female turtle okay but means what we have the concluded means the lower temperature will eventually lead to the formation of the male turtle and the higher temperature will eventually lead to the formation of the female turtle but in case of the crocodile and the lizard it is reverse means in the case of lower temperature it will develop or it will hatch the female crocodile or the lizard but in case of the higher temperature, it will hatch or it will eventually help in developing the male lizard or the crocodiles. Okay. So, see, I am um, reading all the points. Temperature. This is the type of environmental sex determination in which the temperature experienced during the embryonic development. During the embryonic development, the temperature plays an important role in determining the sex or we can say differentiating the sex. 
will determine the sex of the offspring. It is most prevalent and common in the case of the turtle, uh, in the case of the reptiles, and especially in the case of the turtles. What happens in the turtles? As I said, in turtles, the males are generally produced at lower incubation temperature. Means that if the temperature is lower, then the male turtle will hatch. Then the females with this change occurring over a range of temperature as little as 1 to 2 degrees Celsius. Means if the temperature will slightly increase by 1 to 2 degrees centigrade, normal is 22.5 to 27 degrees centigrade which will uh, uh, helps in developing the male turtle. But if the temperature is slightly increased by 1 to 2 degree centigrade and the temperature will increase to 30, 30 degree centigrade, then it will hatch about the female turtle, okay? Occurring over range of temperature is a little as 1.1 to 2 degree centigrade Celsius. At a lower temperature raising 22.5 to 27 degree centigrade, as I have said earlier, it will lead to male means at the temperature of 22.5 to 27 degrees centigrade mostly male turtles hatch while at a higher temperature around as i said 27 if we increase 1 to 3 degrees centigrade then the maximum the temperature if the temperature is around 30 degrees centigrade it will hatch up hatch into a female turtle then if the temperature will be around 30 degrees centigrade only female turtle will hatch Okay, this is the case in the case of turtle. In the case of lizard and crocodile, it is opposite. Lizard and crocodile, this pattern is reverse. Means, in the low temperature, means, in the low temperature of, or we can say simply, in the lower temperature, at the lower temperature, okay, in the case of turtle, the male was produced. But in case of the lizard and crocodile, in the case of the lower temperature, female will produce whereas in the higher temperature something around 30 degrees centigrade in the case of the turtles the female was produced but in the case of the lizard and crocodiles the male will produce it is opposite in the case of turtle simply you remind in the case of turtle if the temperature is low male will produce if the temperature is high female will is produced if in the case of the lizard in the crocodile, if the temperature is lower, then female will produce. If the temperature is high, male will be produced. Okay. So this is all about your today's class. We have discussed the various uh, means the factors such as your environmental factors such as your temperature, and also we have discussed the chemotactic with the sex determination. Also we have discussed the sex reversal and we, have, we discussed the free martin in detail so that's all for today we'll meet in our next class thank you